Today we will use SAP 2000 to create a 3D model by clicking File, New Model, going into 3D Frames. The number of stories is going to be 2. Story heights are 13 feet or 156 inches. Bay widths will be 360 inches or 30 feet in either direction. We will have three bays in one direction and two in the other. Everything looks alright, so we'll press OK. SAP pops up our 3D frame. Next we'll constrain the base joints. We can do this by selecting all of the base joints. Go to Assign, Joint, Restraint. Go to the fast restraints here and click Fixed. Press OK and you can see that the joints are now fixed. Next we'll see if our materials are defined by pressing Define, Materials. 4000 PSI is indeed there. Click Modifier, Show Materials to see if it is correct. Change the setting to Pounds per Square Inch. F prime C is good, so press OK and the material is there. Next we'll define the sections such as beams and columns. Click Define, Section Properties, Frame Sections. Click Add New Property. Click Concrete in the drop down menu, Rectangular. We'll name these beams. Our beams will be 30 inches deep by 24 inches wide. We'll set a modifier due to cracks in the concrete by reducing its moment of inertia and take it to be 35% of the actual. Press OK. After we press OK, we see the beam in the list. Now we'll make our columns by pressing Add New Property, Rectangular, Concrete. Name them Columns. They will be 30 inches by 30 inches. We'll set the modifier to 50% because the compressive axial force closes some cracks, yielding a higher moment of inertia. Press OK. Press OK again. Beams and columns have been set into our frame frame properties. Press OK. Next we'll define our areas or slabs. Click Define, Section Properties, Area Sections. Click Shell from the drop-down menu. Click Add New. Name the shell Floors. Thin shell is OK. Change the membrane and bending to 8 inches. Notice that our material has been selected for us, but it can be changed. We'll keep concrete and press OK. Press OK again. Now we'll assign our beams and columns. Use the Orbit command in 3D to rotate the model so it's easier to select the beams. Click and drag to select all of the beams. Select only the beams, not the columns or joints. Select Assign, Frame, Frame Sections, Assign the Beams. Press OK. The members have been assigned the Beam section. Now rotate the model with the Orbit command so that you can see all of the columns. Click and drag to select only the columns.
click assign frame frame sections click columns press OK we have assigned our beams and columns make sure that all of the frame members have been assigned the proper section next we'll define a joint at the center of mass of each floor this is helpful later when applying earthquake forces click draw draw special joint SAP requires you to offset the placement of the joint in one direction so we'll offset in the X direction we'll offset 180 inches which is half of our bay width click the joint next to the center and SAP draws a joint at the center go up a story and do the same thing press escape and now we have a new joints next assign joint constraints constraints will restrict translation of a number of joints so that they can translate together acting like a rigid diaphragm select all of the joints on a floor be careful not to select the frame elements and to select all of the joints be sure to click the joint in the middle click assign joint constraints add new constraint we want to restrict translation in x and y direction press ok ok again select all of the joints on the next floor be sure again not to select any members once selected click assign joint constraints make another equal constraint click equal add new select only translation in the X and Y directions press OK OK again and they are constrained next we'll draw our areas with the quick draw area command use the arrow to select the areas the area becomes highlighted as they are selected highlight all the areas on the second floor and roof we have drawn our areas next select all the areas and we're going to define them as the 8 inch thick slabs once they are selected click assign area sections select the floor section press OK and SAP has defined them as our 8 inch thick slabs once all our sections are input into SAP our beams columns and floors SAP knows the mass of our building for the selected material we can now run a modal analysis to find our buildings periods and mode shapes